The first calling that I think of is what the Puritans talked about as general call. And it's the call of every Christian to follow God. I would say my calling in life is to use the talents and the gifts that I have uh, for the kingdom of God. In the season of life, I think God is um, uh, getting me to wait on Him and surrender all my will. I'm really trying to practice uh, uh, extending more grace to myself and to others. Um, I feel like um, there isn't a lot of grace in our current um, time and space. I've been wondering how is God calling me to participate in the act of creating it? I always thought that, you know, to do something that was good, I needed to work for a Christian organization or for the church. Really what I was called to do was fix my crummy attitude because it didn't matter where I sat for a job. What am I doing to help those around me flourish? Because so many people are cycling through, right? They're only there for a couple years and they're like, oh yeah, I should definitely get plugged into a church, but I'm so busy right now. I'm working a lot. Like, I don't, I don't know that I have time to find a church right now. And that's, that's, you know, God's really been laying it on my heart that us who've been here can come alongside them and, you know, make sure they can thrive both in their job and in their faith at the same time. It's not fair that, I mean, some people have so much more advantage than the other people because you can see that in everything, I mean, medicine, in school. And so it's like, what can I do to lift everyone up? Because that would bring God's glory. At this point in my journey, I think my calling is to assemble what I've learned in the rest of my life and try and pass on what I can about connecting work and faith, which is what a large part of my life has been about. The Puritans also talked about the second type of call, which is the specific call. For me, I think about I have a calling as a wife. I have a calling as a mom to four kids. I have a calling to my job, which as a college professor. Being a game developer, uh, it's been sort of my desire to, to tell stories and shape them in, in such a way that I can interest people, get people to think about the meanings behind things, the, the nature of humans, characters. Currently I'm working at World Relief here in Seattle. Um, we do refugee resettlement. We're, we're on the highest scale of uh, displaced people. Um, and so uh, there's a real sense of God's mission in calling me to both restore um, and also to um, create as well. I'm an organized encourager, a team builder, and the Lord is using me to build teams and amplify um, their voices, creating wonderful places for children to really grow and spread their wings. I work in customer service. <laughs> so. I mean, that right off the bat, I mean, you know, you have people calling in who are angry and it's really easy to be, to kind of respond in kind and learning to take that step back and go, no, I'm empowered with the Holy Spirit. I can do something a little bit different.